whether it be because of his memorable characters like the Torrance family in The Shining or his terrifying horror stories like It. Stephen King has become one of the most popular writers of modern times and his works have been read by millions of people the world over. With a bibliography containing over 200 short stories and 65 novels, it's hard to believe that 2024 marks only the 50th year of Stephen King's publishing career. There's no better way to celebrate his bicentennial anniversary than by flipping through his catalog and picking up five of his most unappreciated works. Let's start off with Carrie, King's debut novel that inspired the classic horror film of the same name. But don't let the half century since its publication deter you. This teenage thriller remains relevant with its portrayal of bullying, puberty problems, and King's signature writing style. Speaking of King's writing style, ten years after Carrie's publication, Richard Bachman released the book Thinner, in which lawyer Billy Halleck is struck with a flesh rotting curse after running over an old woman with his car. Contemporary reviewers described Bachman's book as what Stephen King would write like if Stephen King could write. Well, what they didn't know was that Richard Bachman was actually a pseudonym that King had been using since 1977 to see if his success was talent or luck. You can be the judge. Along with his novels, Stephen King is also known for his equally shocking short stories. You can read some in the collection Four Past Midnight. One of these tales is called The Library Policeman which bears no resemblance to Gwinnett County Public Libraries nor its employees, but still shares an important message about keeping your library books in good condition, though the punishment may be a little excessive in this case. Though renowned as a horror author, let's not forget that Stephen King is also a master of mystery. His 2005 book, The Colorado Kid, was published under the Hard Case Crime imprint, thematically connecting the story to the pulp fiction paperbacks of the 1940s and 50s. An unsolved murder has lingered in the minds of the two reporters working a small-town newsroom for 25 years. With the help of new hire Jeffrey McCann, the team tries to solve the unsolvable. The final book on our list is Duma Key, and even after psychic teenagers, killer curses, and time travel, this book still takes the cake for the weirdest on this list. After barely surviving being crushed by a crane, Edgar Fremantle relocates to the island of Duma Key. But this wouldn't be a Stephen King book if it was just a relaxing vacation. Instead, Edgar finds himself at the center of a decades-long ghost story with some new prophetic powers. Let us know your favorite Stephen King books in the comments. These books and more are available at your Gwinnett County Public Library. We hope to see you there.